want you close Maybe hold your hand a little while Somehow I know You're gonna be the girl that I'll end up calling my own We ride around in style Sleeves rolled up, glasses on And then you make that smile And my heart starts racing When I'm with you Steve Trucker here. So today we're going to do a uh, channel update video, just a mix of channel update videos. I've a bit. I've got the Ford camera going. We are currently just for interest's sake between a farm near Oxford and heading towards Maybell. So we're basically on the what was it A40 at the moment. So uh, yeah, so it's basically a Saturday the 21st of September today and uh, I would like to start off with saying a massive thank you to all my recent subscribers and also my long term subscribers, you know, everybody <laughs> for subscribing to the channel. I would like to say a massive thank you very much because I've noticed a massive up upsurge of late. Nothing as big as other channels, but for me, that isn't too bad After going. I've bumped up go about the roundabout. 30 exit. subs or so. Poison's Truck Fest, give or take. I think probably some of it is probably because of Truck Fest, maybe. Go around the roundabout. First you know, exit. Who knows? You know, but either way, we've got a bit of upsurge. But. Obviously, promotion of the channel is an important thing. So, but that's the hard thing. And they said it's just producing the content that needs to be done. But I don't want to skimp out on the content just for the sake of producing content. If you know what I mean. So I do have a few videos planned in the pipeline. I may even do one or two this week, but I may just get this video up this week just because I may be going up north this on my days off at the end of this shift. So I'll have a little bit of time to upload, but not a lot of time. And even with editing out on the road now, I still have to have time to upload. And all the other stuff, which isn't a drama. Um, other updates to the channel, we've got, since we had some tech stolen this, or two cameras stolen this month, or, you know, a few weeks back. Well, three or four weeks ago now, give or take. We've ended up with uh, several sets of new cameras. So we had the DJI, which was already a new camera already, before the cameras, my other two had got stolen. And by the way, I didn't get stolen out of the truck, it was stolen uh, from my motorbike, or when I was moving kit in between the garage and the house, so I assume it's opt opportunistic theft that happened. So never mind, it's happened now, sort it out. So basically we've got DJI action, that's my Ford camera, which you should be watching at the moment. And the camera that's staying at me is the Sony RX0 Mark II, which uh, on occasion, I, I, I think I might be nearly there with getting it to focus. It's sometimes if I don't, when I first start recording, get hasn't properly focused on me, it can sometimes not be that brilliant. But when it's focused on you, it's awesome. So it's well worth it, in my opinion. Also, I've got a mic plugged into it, so that should also, you should have heard that on my last uh, vlog or so, or a couple of vlogs maybe, I think I've had it on, which hopefully has improved the audio by tenfold. shortly yeah so we got that I've also got a new editing laptop which is a MacBook Pro 
pretty much the top spec version you can get, which yes, was expensive, I do admit, and yes, there may have been better Windows solutions out there, but I was just really impressed with the latest package from, I'm, oh, there's still issues I admit with Apple, but after for me, it was nice yards, and compact. Go around the roundabout. Yes, if I've got a bigger laptop, yes, the performance may be a bit better, but I can do 4K on it without any issues or, you know, handle 4K editing and rendering without any Go major issues. Go around the roundabout. Third you know. exit. And yeah. And plus I was after a pretty good laptop for when, when I'm out on the road anyway. So it, it was justifiable. What I'm up to uh, in the world of bats. Do 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 do. Yep, we're well, in the world of bats. Yeah, so we've gone through quite a big tech improvement on the channel. I mean, yes, yeah, some of it is jumping the gun, but some of it is it's worthwhile. And also, I've got a, a DJI Pocket as well, gimbaled, which I used on my last vlog, which I think I mentioned when I was on it, which I've done the walk around video and the the truck doing the vehicle check not my proper ve vehicle check video that isn't you know, literally how to do a textbook vehicle check that's just following me around doing a during working week vehicle check yeah so any other news on the channel so I said I've been working on the channel well, I know I need to resize my uh, avatar on YouTube, I am aware of that. Hopefully I've got that sorted by the time you see this video. But I kind of forgot last weekend, so I hope I don't forget this weekend to do it. I just can't do it on my phone for whatever reason. YouTube will not allow me to resize it on my phone. They'll allow me to change it, but uh, not resize it. Um, any other major news? I so, said I am working on the channel art, so bear in mind there will be some changes over the next few weeks or month, you know, with some alterations and all that. I think I've got my logo avatar roughly to where I want it. There might be some tinkering with it. So the idea of my avatar is to have it as like a truck tyre or wheel. L let me know your thoughts on it as well in the comments down below. Bear in mind if I haven't resized it, I'm, if it looks a bit small as my avatar, I do apologise. I'll try and remember to stick it on this vlog so you can have a little look-see, hopefully. If I remember while well, I'm editing. <laughs> yeah, so... Other bits, I mean there's not a huge amount of news at the moment, I mean there's videos in the pipeline like I want to do maybe some videos more aimed for new drivers or people more interested in the industry, so I may want to do a video on tramping, but that could be several sets of videos because there's so much to tramping that without it becoming a rant <laughs> needs to be broken up. So focused on like kit, then what's it like being a tramper slash focusing on, I think I have slightly discussed it in a prior video, but I might want to redo it a wee bit. And you know, I just also just discuss the pros and the cons with it, because a lot of people get into tramping and it is a bit of an eye opener. They're getting it, they love it for the first few weeks or months or so, then it starts wearing away at them because they don't, didn't realise how much it it demands out of you in terms of you away from home so much. People don't always realise, it's understandable you don't realise it till you do it. And that is generally my advice, as if you're really keen to do it, give it a try. But bear in mind, you know, your opinion may change on it. Not straight away, but... You know. And that's not to scare anybody off from becoming a tramper. It is a good lifestyle, but it is, it's not a job, it's a lifestyle. And that's a key thing I want to add now. It is a lifestyle, not, not a job. If you just treat it as a job, 
and that's all what it is to you. It will get to you. It will either snap you or make you bitter and interested, as I would say. <laughs> or a bit of both. Trust me, I've been there. I let, let the job get to me at one stage and, you know, it's not a good place to be. Yeah, you're not happy at work, you're not happy at home. You know, it causes so much issues. Until you can mentally get yourself ready and know what you're getting yourself into. Now, I got, I took myself out of it for a little while, you know. I would say I've gone back into it and I'm loving every day. Yes, you have your off days. Still, you know, still, even if you love your job, you still have your off days. I've just been having a bit of an off week this week. So, <laughs> not in a bad way. It just did start off well, slept in on, on the day one or two hours, which I needed to be on the schedule that day. Which, yeah, folk, I caught myself up, but. It wasn't good, a good start to the week. It is what it is, it happened. Yeah, so let's go back to news on the channel. Why well, I said videos, so I said there might be some content for, for tramping. Uh, as I keep saying, I am working on getting the tanker video done. But finding a site to do it, I've got my idea how I'm going to do it, but that's the easy bit. Having <laughs> the idea how I'm going to do it. But with my restrictions and all that, that's what's slowing it down. It, it sounds like, oh, it's easy. It isn't. You know, you've got to find the farm and you've got to... You know, I've already asked one or two already and it, it's not exactly that they don't want me to do it, they're just unsure. Because they're like, what's YouTube and all that? <laughs> so, you know, if they're not sure, I'm not going to go ahead and, you know, or try and blag them at the end of the day. It's not worth it. I tried to keep my filming professional and then within the realms of legality. <laughs> yeah, so we got that hopefully to look forward to. I can see it being done, hopefully this year. You know, I'll try to get that video done. It is a video I'm itching to do. Um, other content, I said there's a lot of ideas out there. I'm not going to throw them all out in this video. And there is some in the pipelines, but I don't want to get your hopes up with some, so just bear with me. Other bit, I am improving my videography, editing and all that as I'm going. I'm experimenting here and there, so you may have seen on the last few vlogs, I've been me not messing around with the uh, transitions, but sort of toying around with them. Just that's how it all works, working around with music try and make it a bit more professional, <laughs> should we say, you know, I need to start working on my colour grading as well, which is uh, going to be my next little project, I think, and yeah, there is a lot of changes going on at the chat with the channel at the moment, my main aim is to have at least a video a week, as it's always generally been aimed at, aside from when I'm really busy either in life or, you know, I just haven't had time, you know, if I haven't released a video in one week, don't see it as, oh no, where's he gone, I will try to put something out on Facebook or Instagram to say, look, you know, I'm really sorry, or sometimes I'll leave a message on my last or well, most recent video, I may pin a message at top saying, look, I'm sorry, I've been away, Know, this is the reasons. So it's a bit like when I was on holiday, you know, and had a really busy period. Uh, the only other thing that's coming up in October, in probably about two or three weeks, probably about when I get this video up, two weeks' time or so, I will be on holiday for sort of a week and have two odd shifts either side of like two days two-day shift either side so I can't guarantee for approximately three weeks that I'll have any reliable content coming up I may try to put something up but don't but expect a little bit of a turbulence over that period of time so I do apologize at this stage if there is a bit of upcoming turbulence with 
content release. Then after then it should be all smooth sailing for a while. Up to the Christmas period, hopefully. Because I'll be going away on the bike next month. Also got myself uh, a new car this week as well. That's a bit of news there. Add in, changed my car out for my XC60. I've now got myself an Audi A4. Yay! I've joined the Audi club. <laughs> it's actually a lot more cheap as well. I mean, it's like twenty pound road tax <laughs> for a two litre diesel. I can't complain. And that's all the reasons to change out is to make. So I couldn't justify having XC60 D5. I love the car. I've had it for about over four years now. It's been my longest owned car. It was a bit hard to get rid of her, but uh, in terms of sentimentality. But I got a good trade in for her. And yeah, I've ended up with a 15, was it 16? 16 plate. Audi A4 state, so all good. Not top spec, but not far off. So it's got most of the bells and whistles. It's only all the ones I would want anyway. So yeah, that's a bit of news. I mean, it's not been a lot of changes. I've been, you know, it's been a mental month and a bit. You know, I've ended up with a new motorbike now. And to me, a new car. No, it's not brand new. You know, I've also paid up, not paid off my finance on my car, so I'm actually finance free on the car front as well, which is all cool. After 500 yards, go and also the, the changes of the channel. You know, it's you know been a mental period, certainly financially as well, but all within reason. As I said, hopefully a lot of the changes will stand fast. Go around the roundabout. To a Second degree. Exit. I need to get myself some more memory cards, though. Because that's the other thing I had nicked was my spare memory cards. I don't really have many spare ones now. Besides the ones I've got in the cameras. I know they won't last forever. So I may have to, may have to wait for Black Friday and I might invest in, hopefully there's a deal on them, in a few. And that might be another thing I need to look at as well. So yeah, any ideas for future videos would be seriously appreciated, you know. And also I would like to say yet again a massive thank you to all for everybody who's viewed the channel, who subscribed. And if you haven't subscribed, please smash that big red subscribe button. It would be appreciated, you know, smash it in, that's what it's for. Hit it, you know, if you haven't done already, hit it. And I literally say, hit it with your fist. <laughs> so I don't bear any responsibility for any damaged electronics. Like I said, no liability. <laughs> yeah, so hopefully you've enjoyed this video. I know it's been a channel update video this week. I, I said I may try to get something else out towards you this week, but I'll see. I can't guarantee it. We'll see. I've got, I might try and get one thing out, but I'll see. Um, anything else? Aside from that, I've got a few ideas with the channel, but they're still in the beta stage in terms of idea. I am umming and eyeing about setting up a website, maybe. Tell me what your thoughts are on that one. And the idea roughly for the website is to put all my photos on it. I know I've used Instagram for that, but it's also just have a centralised place for my content. And maybe, you know, that's where I may also upload my videos to as well. Or certainly like I post like an update feed and maybe a forum. Might be an idea for them. But we'll have a see. I can't guarantee that idea. That's just a crazy idea at this stage. You know, it's, it's been in the pipeworks a little while. I've been considering setting up a website. 
turn this into some Dima channel art, it might make sense as well. Because technically that's, that's, you know. But I just need to format if I am going on the website, how I'm going on it, how's it going to be roughly used. You know, if I have a forum, that brings in the questions of moderation as well. Because obviously, if you have a forum, you can have trolls, you know. Or the potential trolls and stuff like that. It's obviously a thing I'm going to have to police. But I think a forum might be quite a good idea. Certainly to for you know other drivers to help out people interested and you know you know to talk about trucking related subjects. You know and to ha hopefully add a bit of debating and etc etc just tell me what you think about it and I may look at doing it but I think another idea for the website would be I said is to put photos that I take you know up, out out the road I saw some just using Instagram but just to have a central place where you can sort of go and browse for a load of trucking photos you know and maybe in the future, I'm not trying to get too big at this stage, but if I ever do get large, you know, if it is a demand, if you want some merch, that could be a good place to have the store as well. But I'm not, I feel I'm nowhere near, nowhere near to the stage where I'll produce any merch. And this, if there's demand, if there's some interest for any merch, let me know. And I will seriously look into doing it. I've already had a quick browse to see how you do it. It looks relatively simple. If you have to mugs and t-shirts and stuff like that. No, any ideas, anything like that, if you like the idea of the website but you have maybe an idea I may have missed out or something like that, just let me down below in the comments down below. I do read the comments, I do appreciate any productive comments, etc, etc, and I would like to add some shout outs to this video as well, but I've been a bit of a muppet and I've got something to shout out, but I've forgotten your name. <laughs> You do on a YouTube channel. What I'll do is either I'll snip it out, add it in a bit later, or I will put it up now on the screen. It's something like truck photography. I could be wrong. I've probably murdered it just there, but I'll stick it up. I'll put his link to his channel down below because he runs a YouTube channel as well. So I'll say, look, seriously, go and check his channel out if you like trucking videos, you know, truck spotting type videos. Go and check his his channel out. You know, hit his, smash his uh, subscribe button as well. Help his channel out as well. So yet again, thank you very much for the channel support to everybody who's helped out, showed massive support to the channel. I do apologise yet again for the shout out I was meant to do this week. I should have been more organised but snip it, paper snip it up and take up and mention him. Mention him. <laughs> so I do apologise, I will stick you up on this video, I will try and give you another shout out in a future video as well. So we will catch you in the next one. I'm sorry, you're there. I keep thinking you're there. <laughs> sorry. So, yes again, thank you very much for watching. Please hit that massive subscribe button. Check out my face, Facebook and Instagram and even Twitter. And I will catch you in the next one. Over and out.